Liberia, America, Georgia. Oh, crushed by Rennie Curran. He's all over the field for this defense. Rennie Curran covers a lot of ground during a game, but greater is the distance traveled by his family. It's the distance of a dream stretching across countries and continents, measured best by his family's pride and his parents' pressure. It motivates me in everything that I do to change that just really a cycle of poverty kind of in my family, you know, bring us to the next level, you know, and just, uh, just change things, you know, back home. Home is where Josie and Rennie Curran Sr. grew up in Liberia in West Africa, surrounded by family filled with hope. Josie came to America in 1984 on scholarship to pursue a master's degree in nursing. Her husband, working for the Liberian government, came to visit a year later. Neither planned to stay. Until Liberia began its descent into the terror of civil war. If you had returned, Rennie, what might have happened? Honestly, if I, if I had returned, I'd be dead. People were getting missing. There were ritualistic killings. People were or just be murdered for no reason. Born and raised in suburban Atlanta, Rennie Curran grew up in a house filled with Liberian heritage and culture. He learned of it through photos and stories. He and his two sisters watched their parents work tirelessly to send money back to their homeland and to bring family over to their new home. I remember nights, you know, where I had to um, share my room, you know, sleep on the floor sometimes, and it, it was definitely a humbling experience, and it really helped me to know the importance of family. We send food over, we send clothes, everything that we work for, we pretty much split it in half and send half home. Rennie knows, you know, he doesn't have to look far to see what my parents have done. That just keeps him going. That's his, his, his fuel. That fuel burned brightest on the football field. At just 5'11", he became an all-state linebacker. Yet when the time came for college, the family could not afford it. Instead, they went to church, made an offering, and prayed for help that Rennie could one day play between the hedges at Georgia. The father told me the story that he took his paycheck, he took the whole check, and he gave it to God, and he prayed. God would multiply it. It's like the next week we offer the kid a scholarship, you know, and they're just like, thank you, God. After starting five games as a freshman, Curran was all SEC as a sophomore. He is hammered by Randy Curran straight up the gut on a blitz. This year, he led the Bulldogs in tackles for a second straight season. But beyond the stats and sacks, as he serves his team and coaches, Curran plays for a deeper purpose and with a greater pressure, perhaps using football to one day help his family here and in Liberia. Absolutely, there's no room for failure. Rene is blessed so tremendously, and all of us realize that. So we we'll continuously remind him. And if he feels his pressure, so be it. They really put on me that I could be the one to change things for our family and for our entire generation, really. That's how they made me look at it. 